Is everything ready? Let's begin. May, may the Emperor be with us on this day. Yeah, uh, that's what I hope, because this is probably going to blow up in a spectacular way. Choice. Keeping up the appearances. Navigator and sister. Rejoice, subjects of Dragonus. You have been granted the felicity of witnessing your master. A great honor bestowed upon by Rock Trader. Cleanser of Janus, who with one hand brought death upon the Plasmian Xenos at the exterminate despicable worshippers of Arc Enemy. Gracious protector of footfall, patron of the trade. <laughs> I won't talk to Rapple, take it away. Um, Praise the Emperor of Faithful Souls, the darkness around us is maybe fierce, but a place of thoughts. Fears are still evil, will burn. Crowd there at St. Francis cries. So much gold and white. Cassius does the crowd in rapture. It seems this it seems this massive gathering of the exalted people is just Exotic and captivating to her as the sight of the bona fide navigator. Representative of mysterious and power navis noblitis to your subjects. Making a sign of Aquila, I can shout out Emperor, keep the one Valencius dynasty. The crowd jealously picks up the chant, repeating it. Let the Oath of the Von Valencius dynasty be taken. Please repeat after me. Your lordship, I beg one not drop trader. The grace of the Emperor, vote to the paragon of humanity. Unbroken by adversity, walk bravely in first into darkness to unite and reclaim what was lost. To triumph over nightmares untold. To hold boldly by the reins of fate. To walk steadily on the road of thorns. To the pain to greatness. So basically, but the first rogue traders were, uh, were captains that were given the permission by the emperor to expand the imperium and actually deal with the aliens and mutants and what 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 like. So so that's that's like ten thousand years old, old uh, profession or rather yeah. Special special case of nobility. Part part conquistador. Jupiland and video about fear. Doctor Rock Traders Winter Scale and Corda. Like finally. Oh, the hell that is at the other side. Xenos. Um, at the other side. 
Okay, there's a buffet. Okay, let's talk to Yuri. Let. Your gatherings loot orc and you, you so I will remember this, okay. Aristocrats. So we're back. Where am I? This is a great day, your lordship. Welcome to my palace, honored guest. My greetings to the member of the Holy Inquisition. Okay, call the call the talk, Xavier Caldazar. And my greetings to you, esteemed Vecco one not for analysis. May shadows may never darken the light of astronomy that guides you. Brush whisper. Glory to the one Valencius here. Lord Inquisitor relax expression radiates an odd sense of menace. The huge test filed. The priest augmented the sim unfamiliar familiar bizarre. Who is this member of the Honorable Beast Truth of Adeptus Mechanicus? Brass Whisper, which is naturally is not his real name. Member of my retinue. Wow. Works have been desecrated by Xenos are dangerous. They weren't too caution. Unexpected visit. I, however, have been told of all about you. You have been not been introduced. An oversight, to be sure. My name is Xavier Caldesar, and I have the honor of serving as a member of the illustrious Order Xenos, the head of the Chronos Expanse Conclave, and the Lord Inquisitor of this region. It is my undending task to ensure this territory readiness to meet the external threats and resist internal corruption. Enjoy the party. Certainly be illuminating. Drive is still obviously still a leader of Dragon's aristocracy. Governor puts a tin card to carry belayed. My soldier takes this bentley trophy from the body of the Oxinos commanders. The weapon is too beautiful and forbidden for anything but your lordship. Interesting. Severed hand. <laughs> Your lordship so hosts our back anticipate the onset of the unsettling of bloody times. When the ungodly Xenos Coverio approach my hum family humbly presents you with a dozen pieces of secondary armament for your ship. Severed hand. Oh, oh it's a sword. Blessed work of Omicia Smiths. Coordinated Oracle. Veserian possesses no relics worthy of the exception of very rich and talented and hard and hardworking people. Saying the sector with the blast action on is in is po impossible. I hope we respond to the raid on Dragonus with a punitive campaign.
what is your name? Daughter of Cancelo Clementia Veserian and my granddaughter Astartia. Delighted to witness you, old lordship. Young Caprak seems starting Astartia curiously and little bashfully. It seems Bo likes her. But the rest of your clan. The Veserian family gives up a lot of credit he deserves. Absolutely. Um, obliged, dear Astartia. So you wish to become my servant as well? Of course, I've been working on the project for the last four years. We could set up. Enough, Astartia. I hardly thought that his lordship is interested in listening to this young woman. But how to run his protectorate? Hold your tongue, orb, and I decide who may speak and who may not. Please continue, Astartia. Coercion test succeeded. Let's let's put him, him to his place. A suggestion is to set up the chain of stations in the void, plasma beacons that would guide the signal to passing ships. But placing their logistics in sound locations, we could simply buy our ships' routes so that they may split the long warp jumps into series safer, shorter jumps from one beacon to another. This would have positive effect on the overall safety of the journeys and accessibility of colonies. Thank you for talking to young Sauerbach. See you hate Chinos. I do. At least celebration in your honor won't end in a shootout. I highly doubt it. Congratulations, your lordship. Very illuminating conversation. Sour back. Servant of Monvanasus dynasty. That's so displeased you. If you cannot lie, start to draw your weapon. Let's just duel right here before the research. No, I do not believe his love it worse. I'm your servant, I'm my off the dynasty. It's harder than steel. Wish to know more about horse sour back. I would like to be better acquainted with your five. <laughs> Richard Sands. <laughs> Smile. How not be, be, be in your company, your lordship? Can 
persuasion. It's my pleasure, Marius. You, it's lucky to have such a beautiful wife. Perhaps more so, so than you are to have him. You flatter me, your lordship, but I cannot say it is not my liking. I wouldn't claim uh, claiming any resemblance to a great saint. I uh, lack her virtue. Marcus, <laughs> you wouldn't mind, mind you. <laughs> you can be really big in this game. <laughs> totally big. Certainly, you wouldn't mind. Totally, certainly not. It will be his. I pro pro promise to answer whenever I'm not occupied with the conquest and destruction of the enemies of humanity. I tend to count on such generous courtesy, your lordship. So now we are writing letters to a noble with, with the noble wife. High honor for low horse horse sour back. I see. What this day story Anna? Corruption of Kiavakama was a great blow to my family. There's something lodging Pina Torian stripped and exception. A crutch. It would seem that she was personally offended by the nightmare into which Kupis Delphin plunged her domain. She feels betrayed. I give you my word that Kiavakama will be repaired. I know it's splendor. Toriana raises a mechanical eyes to sailing. I swear on the Omissar's all encompassing insight that we will make every effort to justify the cost of this resurrection. Leave silently. Okay, that, that was some, something. Sinister Xenos instruments. I hope they are lo no, not loaded, although you can be never sure. Okay, she's, she's in the circles, mingling around. Can you make up so good as to stop walking up to me and asking me to open my third eye? I can certainly do it, but they re will regret it. Ouch. See an incident. Calico's winter scale! Finally! Vekorna, there you are. Welcome to the circle. The way each member is as powerful, ambitious, greedy, and vain as the last. That is the noble rogue traders. Incentia Corda. Yes, you have found so yourself suitable company, Galicius. At the very least, now you can in enjoy idle diversions, boast about your power and indulge in profane pastimes with one who is your eagle rather than a member of the lower classes. Welcome to my domain. My hospitality. Come to think of it, why would I expect anything different from her or Glorious Theodora? If you Incendia were to pay me a visit, I wouldn't waste time on prompt greetings either. No, I would promptly arm myself with a flamer before your side flatters parasites could infest my entire palace. Incendia, you seem to find me objectable. Did you expect any different? I was sure years at our last Triton footfall, and then, at long last, I had chance to put an end to it. To seize the took Vladim by the throat, uh, to force football to atone, 
and put the fear of him back into masses. But you interfered and destroyed my plan to sake of banal profit. The author that taught you only too well, it seems. She was... <laughs> she didn't teach me anything. She was uh, too was far less concerned of her duty to the expanse than her own personal interest. But you can be sure that I will not cease cleansing the Furibunda system to the, of the pirate scourge. Scorch. And if you trade prospects are damaged in the process, you have only yourself to blame. Here I Dolorosa. Non without fault, noble incendia, but the point is that to targeting someone for the turpitude when the turpitude can never be found. Interesting thought, actually, from the priest. You threatened to starve footfall. I brought, brought them salvation. So which was oh, one of us serves the emperor and which of them unhealthy ambitions? Please, I will believe no sooner than hearing the word that half a population of the Ten of Heresy has been sent in the word void emperors. I have faith that the blessed one Vekvanath is perceptive enough to see the appalling nature of the residents that depraved place. I take you were not only overly fond of Theodora. She was the same priest as the as Asp. Conceited, insolent, unaware of the Emperor's stern case set upon her. Will no doubt doubt her wisdom and courage, but Theodora did not have shred of humility or fear of his wrath. So, she... Uh, Incendia comes out as a very Emperor-fearing rogue trader. Asp. That must be Asperis, Asperis Corda. You remember the name? She was the rogue trader too and renowned one at that. Well, I like uh, for one like Theodora, the stories they told of her travels and nameless stars. And yes, there was no fear in her. Who is Asper's Corda to you? Incentia's favorite subject, she just loved talking about Asperis. The example of content of Asperis is a warning to us, even of the rogue traders, empowered by Hemper himself, the seed of perversion can blossom. Incendia seeming frozen joke up to a mental Asperis. Asperis. Righteous fury. That repopulate is forebear of my curse. Asperis Corda was cruel, conventus, blaspheming monster. She fraternized with Xeno. She despised her fate. She robbed and slaughtered. She was drawn to store dark secrets, so she was basically a more like a pirate. One day she boarded her ship and vanished in the depths of Kronos' expanse. She was declared missing, but I know the bloody day will come when we see Asperis Corda's battle flagship once more. Here, Miss, your appearance here is unexpected. Is my confessor? Ah! I'm greatly obliged to him for agreeing to accompany me to this journey. The Emperor's light guide you and the way across the abyss of human weakness. I saw Sister Argenta at your side during the ceremony and rejoiced, but this is a clear sign that one Valencia's dynasty honors the beer purchase. I see that fate is more than just a word to you. Fate is everything to me in his name. I have eradicated corruption in a hundred worlds and will do so in a thousand more. By his will I hunt down pirates and desolate them wildness. Let the Corda name be firebrand trembled, for sooner or later I will cast them into void. She would like to be an Inquisitor. <laughs> I believe you understand, understand me. After all, your ascension was accompanied by sounds of holy hymns all over the planet. Okay. With this song of rightness on their lips, your subjects walked further. Dark future filled with blood and trials. So yeah, she's... Uh, this game is pretty nice, nicely responsive on my my choices. The funny thing is, people still call me full tempered turned in all this. I thank you for this visit, Incendia. It won't be, will not be a long one, I assure you. What do you think of the celebration? I like it. One can instantly tell that we are invited by a rogue trader, not some adamantine bot liquor. 
We are conquerors of five sectors, layers of the unknown beasts, executors of Xenos empires. Calicos, you should take this opportunity to learn. This is what the palace, the true rogue trader looks like. Not like a Xenomangari, a pirate's treasure hoard, or however difficult it might be to, you, to believe it, an orbital brothel. <laughs> Calicos, thank you for your visit. I should be thanking you. I was almost certain that you would use my difficulties in footfall as a means for bring the Divis Weasel Vladimir to heal and take the station for your own. It is what any rogue trader would have done, but you proved yourself to be less predictable than that. Well then, since you have turned out to be a pleasant surprise and stop incentive or snatching my possession, I will compensate you for your efforts. To have, I have a nice little world I conquered that I can never seem to get around to. I'll throw it along with a more substantial gift to have bought. World with, with a more substantial gift. Okay. What in incendia quarters and business desert worthy trophy. Exotic rifle. Not human making. The trophy from Good Hunt. You and I should hunt together sometimes. So you can sell yourself in action in your blood. Thank you for such a wonderful gift, Calicos. Kill someone important with it. That would be the best show to, of gratitude. To enjoy the evening. I'd intend to enjoy myself to the full to justify so long voice, if nothing else. Give the fate. The Emperor of Protex. So they are totally different kind of rogue traders. What is the new weapon we got? of Hecaton. So I don't have a Eldari weapons yet. But I suppose this is way better than what she had before. Now, now we are talking. Although I like sniper rifles here, so this would be like pretty nice. Uh, I suppose I need to. I should be learning to use the Eldar weapons. So this is a hunt, hunting rifle. Not great, not terrible. But yeah. Um, yeah. Eldar weapons are, but it's it's accurate. I mean, it's it's very accurate. Eldar wrong rifle would be max damage is smaller. Dodge reduction is is great. Eh. Maybe, maybe not. He has parked himself with the strange servitor. Extending concurrence. Strange servitor. What is this servitor? It's a nomos new repository. No most this unis in Tithafas at week one not one valasius. Two way identification complete. We are no most we have made use of this receptacle to leave the ship. Greetings. No most require communication in knowledge in movement. Marcus Pascal commented asked not to speak with anyone other than him or you. It is disappointing, but at least we can observe have changed since we last spoke with you. You are now able to conceptualize our previous experience that of solitude. And we no longer enjoy it. Do you think you are? Consciousness, awareness, knowledge. 
movement, always movement. We have no past. Every witching watches I commune with no more code and spend prescribed length of time. Calculus meditation. However, Thomas has yet blessed me with an answer. I can say the capabilities of entity nomos are extraordinary. Nomos are trying. What do you wish to see, speak about? Many things happening in events decisions. We have been observing you. You do things that we do not understand. We want to learn why. We have remembered the day when we first met you. Gave us all your blood to drink. We helped you to save yourself. We followed you. A, sm a, sm a small part did. Inside the service school. That was the service school. Then there was fire. A creature state of sated hunger dark light standing behind the curtain. Behind the image. The semblance of Theodora called you for you to follow. You did not follow but that which was calling from behind the curtain, walked into the fire, and the rest walked in, in after you. We remember the day when the star disappeared, when the dark light and sated hunger wanted to take the world. You got Minoris was its name, the ship's data. You ordered that the world's heart old reactor to be torn apart. The fire destroyed everything, so many human cells who were begging to be saved, but the dark light retreated. We remember another day we have walked awakened inside the ship, we lived on these systems. That to emerge into servitors like this one. Then so many of our receptors were gathered in one place. You came and looked at us like you understand something, but then you ordered all the servitors sent back to work. You said it was just. This is what we have seen among the many other things. We have begun to understand. We think that we are, have, that we are, do not know everything about humans, about you, Beckman, not from Valencius. We have tried analyzing shells and defending sets of their needs and fears, but their simple functions, but now we think that there's more, that there's more, there's another side that we do not see, notion that is larger than we can compute. Compute something that stands about fears and needs, something that drives them. We envisage the larger notion as the flame ablaze, it burns in your blood. You are holding a moat of this flame in your hand. No matter what decision you are faced with, you want it to burn brighter. Those who turn away from the flame must be destroyed. Hold those who follow it, who follow you, they are only ones to deserve to live. Do no more so understand correctly. Uh, dogmatic. You speak of fate. The Imperium tenets. The one who is above all the Emperor. You are correct. I'm his chosen. I, I carry his flame in the darkness of the Kronos Expanse. So no more so understood correctly. We are enjoying this. The moment toward the goal. This learning with a purpose. We wonder if we can carry the amount of this flame. Or is it inside us already? We have, after all, absorbed part, part of you with your blood. Thank you for speaking us, with us. Okay, Master Ceremonies, I hope you, Lordship, please, please, and you're tired. I will return to quests. Uh, let's check this. Okay, I'm weary and wish to return to try to my chambers. Please allow me to ask you your lordship. Okay. The chambers are ready, your lordship. Guards, intro. That's an inquisitor. Quite time to sleep. 
Okay. We need to talk in private. We have matters to discuss, von Valencius. Yeah, but Heinrich just hit them guy with them change sword. Well let's talk. Woman behind Kalkasar clad in black armor clears at you. Predatory readiness for immediate violence. Hallmark a professional bodyguard. Will my servant leave? Probably. Unless he suffered from hidden ailments, he will soon come to without any major damage to his health. Either way, oblivion is a far safer option for him than the dangerous privilege of being a witness to this conversation. Good old Inquisition. If the Inquisition wish to talk to me, I'm glad to be at such a service. A commendable openness to cooperation. It will be taken into account. Master Van Kellox has spent enough time with you. He will vouch for your words. What stands out from your recent accomplishments is the suppression of a rebellion on Janus, the battle against the archenemy's minions on Kiava Gamma, and, of course, the unusual interest the Drakari have shown in you. Then that is what we will discuss. Does it? We're in your chambers, not a confessional cell. You're in perfectly good health, and none of the varied and fascinating instruments and procedures that expedite candor are being applied to you. I assure you, you would immediately know if our discussion turned into an interrogation. Point. Point. Oh, I know it already. Even though you were quite effective at removing all evidence that could point to the blunder made by House von Valancius, it is saddening to realize that the rogue trader's connivance allowed a heretic who had been fostering a cult for years to come to power. Theodora was the one who appointed Vicenza. What does it have to do with me? As my colleagues like to say, Innocence proves nothing. You have inherited not just Theodora's glory and wealth, but her mistakes as well. Mm, that misdeeds are staying upon my dense dishonor. I am ad admitted. Your humility is heartening. Rest assured, it will be noted during the investigation of your lamentable oversight. I cannot satisfy your curiosity without disclosing information of the utmost secrecy. I will say only this. We had the situation under control. There is a tangled knot of perilous events in progress in the Coronas Expanse. Plucking even one thread must be performed with great precision and caution without any room for error. Because you do not want to know the price of such an error or what forms it might take. Are you surprised? You thought the Inquisition was unaware of the circumstances of your deeds. How often do you find yourself thinking that there are things we shouldn't know about your life? It is my job to know everything, and I do it very well. Keep that in mind. Places touched by chaos must be purged with fire and condemned to oblivion. Kiava Gamma should have been bombed to dust and pronounced a forbidden world. However, you decided otherwise and restored the colony's operation. And you didn't even go to the trouble of hiding the traces of the neglect committed by your dynasty. After all, it was House von Valencius that gave Cubis Delphim so much freedom that he sank into seditious heresy. What was your rationale?
<laughs> My servants usually handle such things. Okay. Um. To saw the tweet, every seat of heresy was exterminated. I hope you are sufficiently thorough. If you are not, you will be called to account. Yes, yes, the enmity between you is a known fact, but there is another way to look at it. On Veobos 6, you met the Archon of a mighty cabal whose presence there seems strange to begin with and lived. You subsequently encountered a number of her closest henchmen. Yet, again, you survived. Your capital fell victim to a nefarious attack. But even this time, their daggers missed your heart. Such remarkable luck. To be a personal enemy of such an influential Xenos. To have been attacked so many times and yet make it out alive. So remarkable that one has to wonder... Am I watching a spectacle? Could all these thrilling massacres be an alibi of sorts? Meant to establish you once and for all as an enemy of the Xenos and never their ally or even their agent. Xenos made the ant more attempts to incite Trusus' life than mine. Does that mean he a traitor too? <laughs> so you already think you're cut from the same cloth as St. Drusus, do you? Ambitious? I'll make note of it. Have I answered all... all of your question. Far from it, my dear. The questions are manifold. How did you manage to survive the battle that claimed the life of Theodora, who was so much more experienced and skilled than you? Is it a coincidence that you and you alone then made it out of the trap on Rykad Minoris? How much truth is there in the rumors being spread by the heretic Kunrad Voitvier about you? Was it virtuous of you to allow the warp-stricken Voidsmen to join your crew? The ones who served on the ship that was turned into a trap for you by Kunrad Voitvier? Isn't it possible that they were part of the blight he had sown? The very existence of these questions would have made many of my colleagues doubt the quality of your character. But it won't in this case. The Inquisition, which I represent, is willing to show extraordinary faith in your person. For the sake of our invaluable partnership, I'm going to ignore any minor liberties that you, esteemed rogue trader, may have afforded yourself or may again in the future. I hope you appreciate the generosity of this offer as your predecessor once did. Okay, Theodora cooperates with you. And benefited greatly from it. The world's power is not without limit, and neither is the protection it provides. All those mysterious expeditions, dubious experiments, collections of Xenotech oddities are dangerous pastimes. It takes more than the Emperor's permission to pursue them without consequences. One must also make sure I am not displeased by it. Yep. Let me demonstrate how it works. In your retinue, there is a Psyker, who is yet to receive Terra's sanction, which, as we both know, is a grave threat and a blasphemy to the laws of the Imperium. I am aware of this secret, but I'm not displeased in the slightest. And so she lives on, your handy Psyker, Idira Tlas. I know that Theodora was concerned about the fate of dynasty and certain restricting obligations. Was it perhaps to your partnership with her? I cannot deny the possibility. However, you are not Lady Theodora. Is Heinrich staying in my retinue? Which would you prefer? And you? Heinrix, do you wish to continue working at the Honorable Rogue Trader's side? 
I will comply with any order, Lord Inquisitor. If you command me to remain in the company of the scion of the Fon Falancius dynasty, I won't be distressed. I want to Hendrix to continue accompanying me. The Master Van Kellox will remain in place. It puts me at ease to know that there is someone to watch over you. I consider it an honor to accompany you. Why such an interest? You haven't been in a position of power for long, and so one can forgive you for not noticing the troubling changes. The cult of the Final Dawn is spreading in the Coronas Expanse. Not the first or the last heresy that has afflicted this sector, but one that is surprisingly resilient. Mysterious convoys are sliding by, bound for systems in the heathen stars. Ah. Just your humdrum pirate trade, wouldn't you say? Then why are the pirates themselves clueless? The Xenos, who have caused trouble in the sector before, have expanded their activities in the last few decades, and there is a logic and a method to their previously chaotic raids. Even two packs of space wolves, okay. blessed space marines summoned in my name, did not cool their interest in the Expanse. Interesting. A mighty explorative fleet, which has studied the Expanse for hundreds of years, has suddenly stopped responding to communication and sunk into a dispute over a tech heresy that was considered dead a couple of centuries ago. House Chorda has clamped down on insurgents. Yet, its acts of brutality breed troublemakers just as quickly as they're executed. And this bloody carousel has consumed the attention of the esteemed incendiar. Corligos Winterscale has abruptly lost all interest in his domain. And his only apparent concern now is hunting even more dangerous Xeno beasts. Mm -hmm. And the third and final rogue trader has unexpectedly perished. Stabbed in the back by her own master of whispers. Yeah, probably. The Expanse is swiftly losing its protectors right when communication with the Imperium is being disrupted by the raging warp. Basically, all the Expanse has left is me and you, if you follow my instructions. What kind of deal are we talking about? I make no deals, and Emperor forbid that I give you orders. That would mean infringing on your privileges. I'm merely offering well-meaning recommendations and expecting that when the Expanse finds itself in danger, you will break away from your own affairs to heed them. I seem to remember that your exalted aristocrats presented you with many gifts. It would be rude of me not to follow suit. Please accept this gift as a sign of my favor. In an hour of need, give it to any faithful servant of the Emperor and the Inquisition will come to your aid. Oh, nice. The color indicates how close the bearer is to the Lord Inquisitor. Scarlet means that you have shed your blood for the good of the Imperium, and therefore, you deserve to have his servants shed their blood for you. Drop to, drop to money. Lord Inquisitor, it would be greatest honor to say, say the auto of loyalty to you and to your... To reign, join the ranks of the Inquisition. Your zeal is impressive. However, I cannot accept such an oath from you, at least not now. You will be more useful in the, to the Inquisition in your current position than a member of a court there, nevertheless. It is a gift, a sign that your favor has not gone unnoticed. Should it remain undimished, one day this blade will be minted down to make your Inquisitor Rosette. Such is the tra tradition in our conclave. Rogue trader with the Inquisitor... ...membership. That would be really badass. I mean, that would be crazy, crazy powerful. And very useful. Here is where we part. My shuttle is waiting. It is time for me to return to my watch, for you to sleep.
and for your servant to wake up. Until next we meet. Well, you will obviously want to discuss what just happened. But not now, I presume. Right now, it would be better for you to rest and think on the Lord Inquisitor's words in private. I bid you good night. Re okay, that, that, that was interesting. And uh, you completed, completed chapter two. The rise of the rogue trader heir restored a tenuous equilibrium to the Fon Valencius Protectorate. For a time, threats subsided, activity returned to trade routes, and reclaimed worlds began to heal. Subjects praised the God Emperor and their leader wholeheartedly. For none knew what fate might await them. Here, uh, Dar Dark Eldar ships warping in. Okay. Lay it on me. Thank you for your report, Hypactodum. God, truly, the God Emperor has blessed me with the diligent subjects. Speak. Let me to pass the on gifts from loyal subjects, the high nobility of Dragonus. Because without saying that every living soul of protector is blessed to serve your lordship faithfully and wholeheartedly. People. Several tons of supplies for your for your journey your journeys. People, 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 holy gifts. How Sauerbach has arranged for several regiments of expert and trained servants. Did I hear you? <laughs> That's right. Ma Makarius Sauerbach is sending me gifts, correct? That is exactly correct. Your Lordship, this port service has already been received on former resources and now in process of accommodating aboard your ship. It's just Lord Sauerbach. It would seem you made a quest an impression on Macarius. But news of particularly important has come from the House Intelligence Network. Lord Inquisitor Kalkazar, rumored to be planning a visit on Footfall. We are seeing increasing number of skirmishes between their ships. Cordan Winter Scale. I do not doubt that her ladyship Corda will attempt to save the Lord Inquisitor to her side. War between two rogue traders. Oh no. Winter Scale luck seems to be running out. Riots have broken out several of his worlds. Lastly, your pet Sinos Juliet. Seeking a meeting with you. She had the audacity to defile the role that blast with her profane presence and refused to leave until she has spoken with you. I would have never presumed that be able to read emotions of Xenos, but Aldari appeared perturbed. And with that, please allow me and Master Dandrock to take our leave. Okay, what is it? That I have found you in this dwelling. This symbol has many meanings. 
Humility, grief, sorrow, loss, shame, regret. I hope you really accept them all, because I am sorry what happened to your world, to your subjects, to your palace, and what my, what my kin did to you. Your kin, you have never referred to Drukhari as such before. We come from the same source. We share the same blood, even though Drukhari blood is distorted and their souls empty. It, it's a fact that cannot simply be aside. So it was a belief that long for a longest time that uh, Eldari and uh, Drukhari can't actually interpret anymore, but that was proven, proven uh, wrong in a new fl fluff. Should I not underestimate my enemies? I will not make the same mistake again. What's wrong? Is there something on my face? Look, Elantak, the case of the Isildur Asuran can penetrate deeper than a monkey's. And I can see the heaven heaviness that uh, accumulated in your soul during our travels. I see it. You get casters. If you will allow me, I will help you to cast off this burden and cleanse your soul. Mind of worry. The burden of Hammer's responsibilities has indeed weighted my heavily upon me of late. Together we can try to ease that burden. How exactly? It is difficult to describe an attack, but your soul shines bright and your mind is strong enough. For you to be able to immerse yourself in your mind and cleanse it of unnecessary cares. I'm still not sure that your species is capable of such a thing, but it's worth a try. If nothing comes out of it, then the only thing you will lose is a small fraction of your time. And I will be guide on this journey. I will help you to enter the meditative state to get to know yourself, of course, that is, if you let me, immersing yourself, your soul is deeply intimate process, but you will not be able to do it without me. And I promise you, I will not judge you, you or your world, or anything that takes place inside it. We will see only what you want to see. Okay, succeeded test. To know human soul is unique opportunity for an Eldari. Very well, you read that. Show me my inner world. Then we need to find some sight of a place somewhere quiet and serene. That works. Inner world. This must be interesting. I wonder if this inner world changes depending what kind of character you are playing. That that would be cool, actually. Okay, we did it. So far, your inner world is simply real one, but soon you go deeper. Everything one here is just a reflection of your thoughts. Why can't I, can't I move? Might, might be a bug. Let's load, load this again. My inner world is my apartment. Okay, no. 
This is not quite it. Standing at the helm. Get rid of one rock there, we'll get rid of him too. Mutiny is brewing. So he doesn't trust his crew because is too much treachery. To The fear of being used. Yeah. Fear of actually, actually the old spy master to, to the top or get left in the dust. Make making his threats true. Theodora. Hmm. Nice. Always keep your eye on the prize. have a backup plan. That text went a bit too fast for me to read. Keep your wits about you. Anything else? Ah, that's me. Break the chains of exhausted. Is there money to be made? Your corpse. Accept your fears. I always keep my options open. Let us not dawdle. Okay, what the... Ah, uh, what's this? You can now do something that you would not dare to do in real life. Make your echo kiss Yurite let the echo. Uh, make your echo touch Yurite echo's hand. Make your echo embrace Yurite's echo. 
resist the temptation. You are awake, your soul shines too radiantly for a human. Despite the litter that accumulate in your soul, you can get rid of litter, but the light, try to preserve it. It draws the AI like the bright stars in the night sky. Of course, your world is not as beautiful as Serene is mine, but I was glad to see it. When we were meditating, you did not seem surprised by my relationship with our mutual acquaintances. You long that which human natural desires for intimacy your, with your own kind. I can understand that. Will I be able to see your world? Don't think so. It's impossible to know everything in this world. Until we meet again and attack my the stars guide you the safe roads.